हेलो गाइस लेट अस लर्न अबाउट टीसीपी और आईपी प्रोटोकॉल आर्किटेक्चर रिजल्ट ऑफ प्रोटोकॉल रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट कंडक्टेड ऑन ए आर पी एन एट रिफर टू एस ए टी सी पी और आई पी प्रोटोकॉल सूट टी सी पी और आई पी कंप्रेस अ लार्ज कलेक्शन ऑफ प्रोटोकॉल्स दैट आर इंटरनेट स्टैंडर्ड्स देर आर फाइव लेयर्स इन टी सी पी प्रोटोकॉल फर्स्ट इज अप्लीकेशन ट्रांसपोर्ट इंटरनेट नेटवर्क एक्सेस और डेटा लिंक लेयर देन फिजिकल लेयर एप्लीकेशन लेयर कंसिस्ट ऑफ द प्रोटोकॉल्स लाइक एस एम टी पी एफ टी पी एस एस एच एच टी पी एच टी टी पी एच टी टी पी इज समथिंग वी हैव फाउंड दैट आर दैट कैन बी फाउंड इन क्रोम देन ट्रांसपोर्ट कंटेंट्स टी सी पी और यू डी पी इंटरनेट लेयर कंटेंट्स आई पी वी फोर एंड आई पी वी सिक्स प्रोटोकॉल नेटवर्क और डेटा लिंक लेयर कंटेंट्स इंटरनेट वाईफाई ए टी एम एंड फ्रेम डिले फिजिकल लेयर कंटेंट्स ट्विस्टेड पेयर ऑप्टिकल फाइबर सेटेलाइट टेरेस्ट्रियल माइक्रोवेव्स ओके देन कमिंग टू फिजिकल लेयर कवर्स द फिजिकल इंटरफेस बिटवीन द कंप्यूटर एंड नेटवर्क कंसर्न विद इश्यूज लाइक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन मीडियम इफ द ट्रांसमिशन मीडियम इज ऑप्टिकल फाइबर ट्विस्टेड पोयर एक्सेट्रा नेचर ऑफ द सिग्नल सिग्नल्स कैन बी रेडियो सिग्नल माइक्रोवेव सिग्नल्स एक्सेट्रा देन डेटा रेट्स एट वाट रेट डेटा शुड बी ट्रांसफर्ड देन नेटवर्क एक्सेस और डेटा लिंक लेयर कवर्स द एक्सचेंज ऑफ डेटा बिटवीन द एंड सिस्टम एंड नेटवर्क दैट दैट इट इज अट्रैक्टेड टू इट कवर्स द एक्सचेंज ऑफ डेटा बिटवीन एन एंड सिस्टम एंड द नेटवर्क दैट इट इज अट्रैक्टेड टू ओके then it is concerned with the access access to and routing data across a network for two end system attached to the same network so it is concerned with the routing then internet layer internet layer implements a processes needed to allow data to travel across the multiple interconnected networks to travel across multiple routers uses the ip protocol to provide routing function implemented in end system and routers internet layer is implemented in routers also a router is a processor that connects two networks and whose primary function is to relay data from the network to other on its route from the source to the destination end system okay then we have a transport layer also called as host to host layer it provides a reliable end to end service or merely an end to end delivery without reliability mechanism it is most commonly used protocol to provide this functionality okay then we have application layer contains the logic needed to support the various user applications a separate module is needed for each different type of application that is peculiar to that application a separate model is needed for each different type of application uh, that is peculiar to that application okay so this is a tcp or ip concept host a host b network 1 and network 2 and uh, in the middle we have a router okay then tcp or ip address requirements two level of addressing are needed each host on a sub network must have a unique global internet address each process with a host must have an address known as a port that is unique within the host that is unique within the host host each process each uh, process must have a address that is unique so this is protocol data units and then have transmission control protocol tcp tcp is the transport layer protocol so in uh, transport layer we have we can have two types of protocols okay one is tcp and another one is udp so then coming to tcp tcp is the transport layer protocol for the most applications tcp is more generally used Uh, uh rather than the udp because tcp is more reliable tcp provides a uh, reliable connections for transfer of data between the application a tcp segment is a basic protocol in it okay 
a tcp in tcp we call it a tcp segment in udp we call it udp datagram a tcp segment is a basic protocol unit tcp tracks a segment between uh, between for a duration of each connection okay then we have a tcp header which contains source port destination port then sequence number acknowledgement number then header length reserved flags window and we have checksum urgent pointer options first padding then udp header contains source port destination port segment length and checksum that's it user datagram port protocol that is udp it is an alternative to tcp does not guarantee delivery preservation of preservation of sequence or protection against duplication it preserves the sequence and protection and gives a protection against duplication enables a procedure to send messages to other proc procedures with a minimum protocol mechanism there are only minimum protocols in udp because it is connectionless it adds port addressing capability to ip since it is a connectionless it adds port addressing capability to ip used with simple network management protocol snmp includes a checksum a checksum is optional to verify that no error occurs in the data checksum is used to verify the verify if the data is correct so then we have ipv4 and ipv6 so ip head uh, then coming to ipv4 header ip header format it is a minimum 20 octet or 160 bits it is a minimum 20 octet or 160 bits the header together with a segment from the transport layer forms a ip level pdo referred to as an ip datagram or an pa ip packet the header includes 32 bit source and destination addresses the header checksum field is used to detect errors in the header to avoid miss delivery the header checksum field is used to detect errors in the header to avoid miss delivery the protocol field indicates which higher layer protocol is using ip the id flags and fragments offset fields are used in the fragmentation and reassembly process okay then we have ipv4 header uh, from the bottom to top from the bottom we have options plus padding then destination address then source address then time to live protocol check header checksum then identification flags fragment zero fragment offset then version ihl ds ecn total length ipv4 ipv4 provides a number of functional enhancements over the existing ip so ipv4 is a future ip uh, it is it provides the number of functional enhancement over the existing ip designed to accommodate the higher speed of today's network and the mix of data streams uh, it is designed to uh, acquire the higher streams of uh, today's network but the driving force behind the development of new protocol was the need for more addresses since the more mobiles and computers are increasing day by day we need more addresses so ipv6 came into existence ipv4 uses 32 bit address to specify source or destination with the explosive growth of internet and private networks attached to the internet this address length becomes insufficient to accommodate all system needing addresses okay as a figure shows ipv4 includes 120 bit source and destination address fields oh ultimately all installation using tcp or ip are expected to migrate from current ip to ipv4 uh, if uh, ipv6 come comes into existence then all the ipv4 systems will come under ipv6 so this is the ipv6 header we have destination address source address play load length next header hop limit then version ds ecn low level it is a 40 octet header so 
I need. Here DS means differentiated service field. ECN means explicit congestion no notification field. Okay. 